the Uncharted movie has been in the works for a while. Yeah. And I think this is probably the first time we've gotten any kind of um, feedback about it. Like as far as, um, you know, any kind of progress made or anyone who's working on the film actually giving us some kind of ex- expectation to look forward to. Um, so the movie is being written by um, Joe Carnahan and also Stranger Things director Sean uh I think it's Levy or let Le- it's L E V Y, so I think it's Levy. It's Le- not Le- 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 Levi. Levi. Le- 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 um, <laughs> so apparently, um, this is what uh, Carnahan said about his script and the story. Um, he said, When I wrote Uncharted, I didn't spare the rod, I wrote it the way the video game is. Did he say yes. S- Spare the rod. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't spare the rod. Spare the rod. <laughs> That's just, an interesting way of putting I wanna, it. I want to. What does that mean? Where did that come from? Spare, spare the, the rod, rod. Spoil the child from the Bible. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, but he didn't cut corners, basically. Okay. And it, but yeah. but I love that he says I wrote the way the video game is. We don't need to be. I saw Assassin's Creed. I don't know if you did. I had no intentions it's, of seeing it, that movie. It it, it it's. It's not as bad as it could have been, but it could have been. <laughs> it could have been so much better. Right, but the reason why I didn't see it is because your reaction right now, it's not as bad as it could have been. Like that's that's the most yeah. positive spin I You're can put a on nice it. Nice guy, Steven. <laughs> You're a polite person. I don't feel like I wasted <laughs> money going to see it, but at the same time, I was like, oh man, come on, you guys could have done so much, yeah. uh, such a such a better job on this. Um, so, um, some of his comments cross into territory, which I'm not comfortable repeating, of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean some of these these up. He mentioned that the film contains, or he said that the script, if Plugs. it were going to be a PG-13 yeah. ra- rating, um, it, he calls that a cop out. Yeah. So he basically has an R rating uh, script in in effect here, and he says that he has written four of the biggest craziest action sequences he has ever written what's the rating on the game the games are teen which kind of concerns me because you don't i I mean as far as like here's here's my my problem with ratings as far as teen goes what's the age range for teen oh for games yeah um up to uh, basically so mature the next rating up is mature and that's 17 and up yeah so teen is like you know 16 and under okay so our rating can be you mean 16 and up for teens yeah 16 and under no, would be a general i'm sorry rating. uh 13 13 and up okay yeah all right uh but i kind of feel like uh yeah that's 16 and under yeah. teens would be 16 and under <laughs> i was thinking of it in a completely opposite way yeah. um but the games are yeah the games are teen rated um, I haven't played through Uncharted Three or Uncharted Four, but I've I've got a general you know idea of what they're about. There's really nothing in them except you know there's there's a lot of implied serious violence. I mean, you are shooting people; you can shoot people in the face. Yeah. Um. So but I, mean, I don't. Indiana Jones shot a guy. Right. Han and Solo fired first. Didn't Indiana Jones? Isn't that the the film? franchise that that got the pg-13 rating like in the system whereas before it was g pg and r i'm not sure on that i want to say yes because i think raiders of the lost ark was like pg rated and like that's the greatest improv scene of all you know that was improvised right oh you're talking about the shooting yeah well what i'm thinking of is the guy's face melting off oh yeah oh yeah yeah that was Rated PG. Looking parental guidance suggested. Looking back, though, I mean, like that's that's pretty <laughs> impressive. The stop motion that it oh, take absolutely, to melt that. that was amazing. That thing, like you can look look back and, on it and appreciate it for for. And it it haunted my childhood. Yeah, my parents. Yeah. I remember watch when I watched I watched that movie one time when I was a kid, and my parents were like, when I got to the part where they were going to open the Ark of the Covenant, they're like, leave the room. They were like, they didn't even say close your eyes. They yeah. said leave the room yeah and we will tell you when to come back yeah that was that was a crazy moment yeah. and i'm and i'm glad they did that because now it's it's rated teen in this game 
Um, mm-hmm. Is there cussing in the game? There is. How much? Like, what kind of words are we talking about? I, mean, I want you to use the... <laughs> you okay, should... you basically have everything yeah. in there except the F word. Okay. You, you basically have PG-13 rated language. I mean, pretty much everything except for the F word is allowed on cable TV, and that's not a mature audience kind of thing anymore. Yeah. Um, so... To be rated R would have to be excessive... In PG thirteen, you can use the F word. I think like yeah. two or three times. It would have to be either excessive cussing, um, graphic sexual content, or graphic violence. Yeah, or graphic violence. Those are so, yeah, those are the three. So I mean, and as far as Uncharted go, uh, it's not a very violent game. Not much happens. It's kind of like a Tomb Raider esque. Ex- yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like so for it to to do PG thirteen, but he's also saying he's writing it like the the video game is like i just want to know which uncharted game he's referencing yeah it's sad because i mean that's kind of like an exploration game where you you climb around and do Indi- a bunch of think fun stuff. indiana jones yeah minus the the really gory parts yeah. i mean there's kind of like in the first one like there is kind of like a mummy's kind of course uh curse going on yeah, it's it's tomb raider jones yeah, yeah, and like there are these Indiana like creepy, Raider. but but nothing yeah. that like even approaches an R rating yeah. or a mature rating in the in the gaming world. Yeah. So Indiana Croft, yeah, <laughs> Indiana Croft. Yeah. Well, and it's so funny. Like people will will say like you know you know because we had you you basically have Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider was like the the first well pit pitfall. Pitfall not not count. really. Pitfall didn't count. Yeah, that Pit, was Pitfall. The, you remember the that that uh, PlayStation One? Yes, Pitfall? I do. That was a good game. Do you know who voiced him in that? Huh? Bruce Campbell. <laughs> I did not know that. Bruce Campbell voiced I Harry in Bruce Pitfall Campbell. 3D. I mean, but I remember yeah. playing a demo of that, and that was it, it. Was more the same demo that the Cube game. You remember that Cube game on PlayStation? No, but I remember Cube spelled with a Q, right? I think so. And you had never. Mind, we won't get into details. Yeah, yeah. But I think that I mean the sound. Um, I personally am okay with an R rating. Yeah. If that is. If that fits it. Yeah. If, like, uh, that's for fine. instance, let's talk about a couple of R-rated films that could have gone PG-13, but they went R-rated. Yeah. I'm thinking of Deadpool from last year. Yeah. And Logan. Yeah. Deadpool needs to be rated R because Deadpool that is, is the very character. mature. That, yeah. Yes, that is the character. Yeah. And, and Wolverine, if you're going to do the violence that would realistically have yes. to happen from three blades chopping people's limbs yeah. off... It's going to get rated R yeah. very quickly. And that's perfectly fine. But I mean like an ex- exploration game. I don't know, man. Like uh, it's, it sounds to me like you're basically just going to uh, just slap on some gratuitous, you know, Hollywood sex and violence to, yeah. to just, you know, I don't know. Like for an exploration game like that, yeah. like do you really need the extra gore? And the thing is, is like when you, when you take a property like this, like uh, for instance, um, Samurai Jack. Ooh, I can't wait for the new. They're they're coming out with the new season yeah. soon. Um, I think next month. And that's okay if that gets a little gritty and darker. Well, it's going to be, is... but the the audience yeah. has grown up that grew up watching it when it was still like, that was like you know a long that was TV a F seven. Yeah, that was a while or ago. or Y seven Y seven. Um, that's like uh, that's like getting upset because Harry Potter, you know, and the Deathly Hollows was a lot more intense than. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Right, it was a natural progression of the story. Yeah. With something like this, I'm just I'm I'm curious like you you stand the risk of losing the lightheartedness of Uncharted. Have you played any of the Uncharted games? Um no, but I mean I've played plenty of Tomb Raider games, so yeah. Imagine Tomb Raider but you know, he he's got a sense of humor like the characters like you know, you there are yeah. funny aspects to the game. It's not. Yeah. It's not all like uber serious. Like, to, I find Tomb Raider to, to be that way, yeah. and I like I like the Tomb Raider games. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's basically just an exploration game. Yeah, there, with with some like witty humor in it. But. I just don't. I don't see why it, it, we kind of talked about this when Deadpool came out, and it was a very successful R rated film, mm-hmm. and there was a lot of people that were thinking like, well, now that this is was successful, and people kind of stayed away from R ratings because 
you cut off how many people are going to be yeah. watching the film. Well, that doesn't mean you have to make everything R-rated. That doesn't necessarily mean dollars. So I I do feel like for for Uncharted it's not a good it's not a good fit. I agree with Ho- that. Hopefully they they take what's good about his film and then then cut it down. I'm I'm sorry, dude, but <laughs> I I want this to be a success. I don't want it to be like you I'm, know murder. I haven't, I haven't played the game, but I've I mean I've I've seen previews of it. Yeah, you know, and every and, preview that I've seen it doesn't strike me as like a rated R kind yeah. of or like an adult theme. Now, game. if people are getting shot in the head and that's your R rating, fine. Yeah. I don't care because that happens in the game. Yeah, like if we release a Quake game or a Quake movie, you know, that's right? Going to be rated R, please. Yeah. Yeah, or like I think any Aliens game has been rated like teen. Yeah. But um, you know the movies are. What are the the Alien movies rated I mean, in general? They're rated R. I mean, like that. Those are like some graphic, crazy, scary themes. Yeah. So you know, normally you would. With you don't see many like Sesame Street episodes where like you know an alien pops out of Big Bird's chest. <laughs> Not many, but there are a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the early days were pretty. Oh no! <laughs> like it was pretty dark. <laughs> Boy, they had to turn around that image fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, A is for aliens. <laughs> I'm going to count the number of holes in your body. One, two, three, four holes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I I hope that the uh, the people in charge of the Uncharted movie do it do it justice. I don't want to see a repeat of Assassin's Creed, but at the same time, I don't want you to make it rated R just because you think that's what's going to sell. Yeah. Um, stay true to the game, though. That is a good goal. Truth, yeah. 